Introduction to Robotics, the Jacobian method. In the previous lecture, we started um, with this example. Um, it's a planner, two degrees of freedom, RR, robotic arm. And we were able to uh, obtain the angular velocity of link one and link two, as well as the linear velocity of the same two links. In addition, we also computed the angular velocity and the linear velocity of the end effector or frame 3. What we are going to do today is we are going to focus on the angular, angular and linear velocity of the end effector. So we are going to take these to the next slide. And then I will try to express each one of them in an explicit way as a function of the of a column matrix of the joint rates. So starting starting with the angular velocity of the end effector, this can be written as a product of two matrices. One of which again is the column matrix of the joint rates, theta one dot and theta two dot. So you can see that uh, you can verify in fact that the product of these two matrices is the going to be the same column matrix that we obtained uh, from last lecture and the same thing can be done again for the linear velocity of the end effector this is the expression that we obtained last time and today we're gonna just write it down as a product of two matrices you can verify this by uh, multiplying each row by the column matrix here so L1 sine theta 2 times theta 1 dot plus 0 is gonna give me the entry here and you can do the same thing for the second row and the third row so now we have the angular velocity and the linear velocity of the end effector expressed explicitly as a um, multiplication of two matrices of which we will have one of them being the theta one dot and theta two dot we can combine these two equations into one matrix equation on the left side we will have the velocity of the lean if lean uh, of the end effector have both the linear component and the angular component so this is um, a column matrix of the linear velocity that it contains uh, it's a three by one uh, matrix it contains x dot y dot and z dot of the end effector expressed in th frame three and this is also the angular velocity of the end effector and it's a three by one vector which contains omega x, omega y, and omega z. So on the left side here, this column matrix is in fact a 6 by 1 matrix. On the right side here, we have the joint rates, theta 1 dot and theta 2 dot, and this is pre-multiplied by this matrix that um, we obtain by having this one here, on top of this uh, matrix now the matrix that appears here we call it the Jacobian matrix and um, you can tell from this equation that the Jacobian matrix uh, functions as a method or a way to relate the joint rates for robotic arm to the velocity of the end effector being both the linear and the angular velocities uh, of the end effector in many cases um, we may be only interested in the linear part or portion of the Jacobian matrix uh, just as in this relationship here where we have on the left side only only the uh, components of the linear velocity of the end effector. Uh, 
being x dot y dot and z dot and this is the linear portion of the Jacobian usually use JV for linear velocity and here we will have the joint rates theta 1 dot and theta 2 dot so if you want to write it down as x dot y dot and z dot to make things more clear and to realize that we can really get rid of the last row here because it turns out that the uh, component of velocity in the z direction is going to be zero and this is beneficial because um, now we can have the Jacobian matrix as a square matrix two by two which will be useful later on when we are when we are going to look for the inverse and the singularities but this is for another day another topic so as agreed this is the Jacobian or part of the Jacobian which relates the linear velocity to the joint rates uh, but now it, this is expressed in frame 3 what about if we want to express it in frame 0 uh, this is this can be done by pre multiplying the Jacobian matrix by the rotation matrix which should do mapping from one frame to another this is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is a 3 by 2 matrix so the result gonna be the Jacobian matrix uh, in frame zero. The rotation matrix of frame three with respect to frame zero, this was obtained previously in the um, four kinematics, but we just repeat it here. Um, this is R1 to zero, R2 to one, and R3 to two. If you multiply these matrices, you're gonna obtain the rotation matrix of the end effector with respect to base frame uh, to the base frame and again uh, cosine 1 2 it means cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 so if we uh, now after we obtained r3 with respect to 0 and we multiply it by the Jacobian in frame 3 we will get this result which is the now Jacobian expressed in frame uh, 0 this is the Jacobian uh, the linear part of the Jacobian a uh, linear velocity part of the Jacobian uh, expressed in frame 3 and now this is uh, the linear uh, velocity part of the Jacobian but now expressed in frame 0 In, in a similar fashion as we did before we can remove the last uh, row here repre representing the uh, velocity in the z direction of the end effector and since we, both of them are going to be zero and the uh, this row can have two elements and this row is going to be zeros so we can just eliminate the whole thing here to get the Jacobian expressed in zero but as a square matrix a two by two matrix Now this is uh, another example where we um, we are looking at um, a revolute prismatic robotic arm. We need to find the Jacobian matrix. It's again a two degrees of freedom robot um, and it's a planar robot. This is a revolute joint and this is a prismatic joint. Uh, we have theta one and I have d two. These are the two joint variables. And from a previous lecture, we found the linear velocity, angular velocity, angular velocity, and the linear velocity of link one, link two, and uh, those for the end effector. We look at the, the angular velocity and linear velocity of the end effector. We need to write them down as a multiplication of two matrices, one of which is going to be the joint rates theta one dot and d two dot in this case. So if you multiply these two matrices, it should give you the same uh, vector as before. You can try this by yourself. The first row by this column is going to be zero. The second row by this column is going to be theta one dot and so on. And we did the same thing for the linear velocity of the end effector. We have it uh, as a multiplication of two matrices. So now we have the um, 
angular velocity and linear velocity the joint rates here so if you wish you can call this the uh, angular velocity portion uh, of the Jacobian matrix and this is the linear velocity portion of the Jacobian matrix this is the complete Jacobian matrix and you can see that the number of rows here is six and the numbers of columns are two so six would be the maximum number of degrees of freedom for an, for the end effector which is uh, x dot y dot z dot and omega x omega x omega y and omega z and the co two columns uh, correspond to the total degrees of freedom of the robotic arm uh, which is equal to the number of joints and we have two joints so uh, looking at the linear velocity a portion of the jacobian uh, this is for uh, being expressed in frame three uh, we would be sometimes interested in having this expressed in frame zero. We, uh, we obtain this by simply uh, pre-multiplying it by the rotation matrix from frame three to frame zero. This was obtained uh, in a previous lecture. In the, um, you will find it in the forward kinematics or the inverse kinematics uh, uh, lecture. So from which here we have the Jacobian matrix uh, expressed in frame three, uh, frame zero. Here we have uh, again uh, we wrote down the B three as its components x dot, y dot, and z dot because this is a vector. It's a, we, we agreed upon the, on this uh, previously, and we can see again that um, components in the z direction going to be zeros. Uh, since it's a planar robotic arm, so look at this frame x and y. So you will see that uh, there will be no components in the z direction. And now we have uh, the uh, Jacobian matrix as a square matrix, two by two. So just as a conclusion, the Jacobian matrix works as um, a means to relate the uh, velocity of the end effector with respect to the joint rates in many cases we may be only interested in uh, on one portion of the uh, Jacobian matrix uh, usually the one uh, related to the linear velocity and it's in many cases also it would be useful uh, to write it down as a square matrix